I guess I could make a vlog realistically and then put it out there. At least vlog it, maybe not even put it out there. Just show you guys me when I'm not all energetic and shit. Um, I don't feel good. I haven't for a while now. And uh, I'm gonna take a road trip. Take the Hellcat. I'm gonna go across the country. I'm gonna see my son. Do some other things I need to do. I'm just gonna go for a little bit. Um, that's probably why you haven't seen the main channel. I don't know when this video is coming out. But that's probably why you haven't seen the main channel in a minute. Let's try to keep it a little happy. We're gonna take the Hellcat, drive 20 ish hours across the country. Yeah, these racing tires with like almost no tread are gonna do great in the rain. Braden Zilla Vlogs right there, guys. Check them out. I, d I don't know who that is. You can't go by the giant Bucky's in between Austin and San Antonio without stopping here. This shit is literally the size of a Walmart. You ever seen this many gas pumps, huh? Two rows of gas pumps? Here, I'll show you the inside over here in just a minute. I've actually never stopped there. This is a gas station. Yeah, a gas station. You ever seen a gas station with four slushy machines? No, you haven't. You ever seen a gas station with 15 different kinds of jams? No, you haven't. You ever seen a gas station with a million hot sauces? Oh my God, these are like some of my favorites. They got the secret aardvark, the truffle sauce, the gator hammock. Dude, dude, Bucky's knows what's up. Feels like yesterday I just drove from South Carolina to Texas. That vlog was what, like six vlogs ago? Cause I haven't been editing the content that I'm making. Oh, the tires I was talking about on the Hellcat, since it's raining out here, let me show you these awesome tires with tons of tread. Oh, the tread. <laughs> you know what, it's probably not gonna be $130 to fill the Hellcat up like it is to fill the Raptor up. We're almost to Austin, so we made it, what, 40 minutes? <laughs> I had to run back in there for something, and a had to be no more than four or five years old looks up at me when I'm standing in line and says, Donut! Why are you letting your kid watch my channel? <laughs> Yay, it stopped raining. That means I can do this. Or not. <laughs> you, dude. I don't know where I'm at. Mm. Mm. I completely forgot someone told me that there's a break-in period for these things once you hit 500 miles, and I hit it about 123 miles ago. I haven't really noticed a difference, but then again, I can't drive very fast because it's taking me through like cornfields. Very, very backwoods, Texas. Granger, Texas. I have never been through here. I don't think. Nope, never been through here. And that was Granger, Texas. This doesn't look like it would be a very fun town to live in. That's all I'm saying. I just drove by the police department and saw their four police officers though. Shout out to Bartlett Police Department. I don't know where I am, but I found another Bucky's. I'm glad I'm going on this road trip. I'm already feeling Turn a little left. bit better. Hey, you be quiet. This one's just as big as the other one. Maybe even bigger. I love Texas. That's my I'm dying inside, but I'm gonna try to hold it together voice. <laughs> oh, I never travel without my special friend. We got about, I don't know, like 200 miles down the road, I think. We're almost to a half a tank. This is not the most fuel efficient car, a supercharged V8. We're gonna fill up on gas and go in here to Bucky's and see if it's any different than the other one. It's probably not, but I'm gonna grab some food probably. Not only are Bucky's as big as a Walmart, but the people here are just like the people in Walmart too. <laughs> Ran into a young man named Brian who watches my stuff. Nice to meet you, Brian. And two Azel police officers. Great to meet you guys too. I got the Bucky's Club Melt. Let's see if this gives me diarrhea. This is most definitely giving me diarrhea. Not bad though. Ow! I got bit. It's like Arby's, man. It got all the meats. They give you diarrhea. I forgot to pee. So back in the buckies we go. Oh, get it? I just got buck teeth. <laughs> well, this is freaking scary. You come around a corner on the mountain. Oh, yeah, that truck just ran off the road. Yeah, you come around a corner on a mountain and there's a wreck right here and a truck behind me just ran off the road. I was looking behind me when I saw the wreck coming up and I was looking for a way to get out because those trucks could barely stop. Let's look and see where we're at. 
we are in Temple, Texas. I think I'm just gonna keep going, am I going east right now? I'm going north right now. I think I'm gonna go up to, let's go up to Dallas and then go east. <laughs> I'm in Dallas. I don't think I've ever been to downtown Dallas now that I think about it. I'm gonna stop here for the night though and uh, probably work out and then grab some dinner or vice versa. I'm staying at Cap, well, I don't know where I'm staying at. I love Hotel Tonight, the app. They will get you some pretty bougie places for like 200 bucks a night. That looks like a button. Oh, oh. makes the light brighter. Fancy. This is where I'm staying. This fancy, fancy place right here. I was wanting to work out, but it's already like nine o'clock and I haven't even eaten a lot today. I didn't eat all that Bucky's thing. That was not the best. So I'm gonna go over here to this place called, I think Moxie's. I don't know the person in the lobby recommended it. So I'm gonna go over here and eat and then work out early in the morning, then get back on the road. The lady at the bar over there last night told me I don't look like the rest of the people here. And I, I kind of agree with her now. This is a bougie area, dude. All the Lambos and Maseratis and shit. No, over at the bar where I ate last night, this lady sat down beside me and was like, do you live in a van? You don't look like the other people here. Not nice, but by the look I gave her, she was like, oh, you just look hipstery. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to George. He recognized me. Nice to meet you, George. I don't know where I'm going next. I think I'm gonna go get brunch and pull the laptop out and work a little bit and figure some stuff out. I was really feeling sushi, so I found this place. Yeah. Yataka. We're gonna eat at Yataka and then get on the road. This place has some pretty decent ratings. They had a 4.6 on Google. Looks good. Let's do it. Backlit. Backlit. I got the. Uh, I got a couple of rolls from here. I've never had Toro, which is the fatty part of the tuna. It's like eleven dollars for one piece. So we'll see how good that is. Toro, yellowtail, salmon, and king crab. That's what's on the menu for today, boys. This is the one that costs twenty-two dollars. Well, eleven a piece. Grants? Oh man. Toro's good. That just melts in your mouth. All right, you talk. This is the best sushi I've ever had. Doing a bunch of squats right before a road trip doesn't feel good. I'm up here at Colton's Steakhouse and Grill. I have no idea what this is, but I think we're like 30 miles outside of Little Rock. Here, right here, grab some food, grab a drink, get back on the road, go get some chicken. I guess Arkansas is a little bit like London, where they don't believe in seasoning on anything and overcooking everything. Whatever, I'm hungry. <laughs> I should have known that was gonna be ass when there wasn't anyone under like 60 years old in there when I walked in. <laughs> 